let's look at what were the other changes that Europe during the 19th and 20th century were going through. There were a lot of changes happening not only in terms of ideas but also in other ways in, in society. Uh, there were roads built, buildings coming, cities getting bigger. So what were these changes? One of the most important changes were growth of cities. So many cities came up. Smaller cities began to grow bigger and bigger cities even more bigger. So if there were 10 cities before, now it increased to 50. So there was this rapid growth of cities. Now as cities grew, population also grew. People, the number of people also increased drastically. And with this, there was also growth of industries. Factories were set up, big, big industries were brought up. And with this, also transportation, railways were established. Railways brought people from one place to another. It transported goods from one place to the other. So everything became easier now for traveling, for transport. Now, this change that was happening where big industries were coming up, factories were set up. Now, this change also saw that the labor of the people were replaced by machines. Now, if in the earlier period, people worked very hard for days to produce a certain product, for example, paper, the machines during this period, in a very short time, did a work of 100 men and produced double and triple the amount of paper that normally a group of people produced in say for example one month. So these machine replaced skill of men and in short period of time they did mass production. Now this change in industry was called industrial revolution. So these changes were happening in the society. Now as industries came up, factories came up, that their numbers increased. Men, women, children worked in those factories and industries because there were increase of people in, in the cities, in the villages. Now these people needed jobs, employment, and they flocked to the city to work in the factories. Now, how did they work? How were they paid? They worked for long hours and their wages were very little. So they worked for more than 10 hours. They worked for 12, for 14 hours and they were paid very little. So this was the condition of the labor of the workers. Now, despite the factories coming up, despite many people joining work in these industries and factories, there was still unemployment. People were not getting jobs. And there were other problems like housing problem, sanitation problem. People did not have enough place to live. Pe there were so many people who were living in small houses, crowded, these houses were crowded with so many people. All the streets were dirty because there was so much congestion no proper sanitation for people. So all these facilities lacked while there was growth of economy and industry. Now, with this background, in this background, in this kind of change happening in the European society during the 19th century, the liberals and radicals wanted to bring change. They were looking for solution. How can we change this kind of problems in our society. These issues had to be dealt. These issues had to be dealt immediately and they looked for solutions. Now at the same time, uh, there were people who were called nationalists. Now these nationalists wanted to overthrow their rulers, overthrow their ruling system. And why overthrow? Because people were treated unequally. So by overthrowing the, this ruling, earlier existing ruling system, they wanted a system to come, a governing system to come, who can treat everybody equal, who can give freedom to its 
subjects to its citizens. So these kind of nationalists were working in Europe, Russia and Asia. And in Italy, which is in Europe, there was this person called Giuseppe Mazzini. So he was a nationalist who was trying to overthrow its rulers and bring about change so that people be treated equally and given freedom. There were similar nationalists in other parts of Europe, in Asia and Russia. Now here is a picture um, and this picture shows what the poor in the cities or the working class in the cities during this time, during the time of the industrial, industrial revolution lived. So here, as you can see, the title of this picture is called London Labour. London Labour or London Poor. So here, as you can see, in a small room, there's just one room, but so many people have crowded this small space. There are people sitting and eating here, people drinking, talking, smoking. You can see here in the corner, a lady is cooking and there is no space free. People are sitting on the floor, people are on the stairs, people are on the sides, they're everywhere. So this picture, tells us as to how people lived in the 19th century Europe during the time of industrial revolution and social change. Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.